More than 170 new jobs planned for a Kent County community taking another step forward today with the approval of state tax credits. 24-hour news aides Tony Talivia live at the site in Wyoming where Gordon Food Services is planning to expand. Tony? Good evening, Susie and Brian. This is the site of former concrete plant right along US 131 that is just down 50th Street from the current headquarters of Gordon Food Service. Talking about the proposed job expansion with reporters today, the city manager says it's an example of a business starting, growing in Wyoming, and the city manager took it as an opportunity to go against critics who have charged that the city is not friendly toward business. Um, we've been. Um Pushed around a little bit the last couple of weeks about being anti business. The complaints have been about enforcing downtown development authority rules when it comes to the types of businesses that can locate along 28th Street. But the mayor says it's really been about looking at the long term when it comes to the city's future. Proposed Gordon Food Service jobs would be added over the next five years. 173 of them are expected, paying $879 a week on average. That amounts to about $45,000 a year. A Gordon spokeswoman says the planned jobs are mostly new positions, but some may come from Canada. The jobs would be in fields like accounting, marketing, and purchasing. After approval of state tax credits today for the project, the city will now look at incentives, including improving roads in the area. If Wyoming's going to be in a place where they can attract businesses and put businesses here and therefore jobs, we're going to have to be in the incentive game because everybody else is there. If we don't play that game, these jobs, this business goes to um, Toronto and we end up with a site that's um, an obsolete property that who knows when or where that might be developed. The Wyoming City Council is expected to take up incentives over the next few weeks. According to company officials and from what city officials have heard, once those local incentives are in place, this project should move forward. We'll be watching to see what happens. Of course, if Gordon doesn't create all the jobs that are proposed, it wouldn't be able to take full advantage of that state tax credit. Live in Wyoming, Tony Talia via 24-Hour News Day.